Okay, we're back. Thanks for your patience, guys. Didn't want to, didn't want anyone to miss any of that gameplay. Okay. So yeah, we got to, we got to further examine. Of course, you can get a new pin made if you can just tell them your number. I've actually lost mine twice already, but I still don't know my student number by heart. I always say to myself, I mustn't forget to write it down somewhere. But then I forget not to forget that. Wow, dude, this is totally me. This is totally me, Parpar. <laughs> but you know, scares terrible memory just like me. You got this. Thank you, Parpar. This is fun, though. I like this. Okay. All right, so let's go back. Ah, here we go. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see it says the witness's name here? Satoru Osonaga. Well, yes, business cards tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not the name that's unexpected. It's his job title. His job? Oh! Chief Inspector Satoru Hosonaga, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Inspector? What on earth? Hmm. I have no idea. But let's face it. The police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow here... The waiter's business card information has been updated in the court record. A sketch of the restaurant's layout is on the back. On the front, it's stated that Hosonaga-san is a police inspector. Do -do -do. And we've already inspected this stuff. And then for the, um, for these photographs, I can't, like, yeah, I can't flip them around or anything, so. You can do it! Thank you, Nobu! Little Kim Jr. Jr. <laughs> That's cool, I didn't know that you could just type in a percentage for, for gambling. So it was his name. It was the waiter. Okay, 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 okay. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. We got this, we got this. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses is Satoru Osunaga. Yes! Yes! Well, surely that would be Satoru Hosunaga-san. Hosunaga-san? The waiter who took the stand earlier? Attention! Puppycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. Ooh, I beg to defer, mate. Lula. I beg to defer. For once, I would agree with you. If that is, the man truly were a waiter. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> what I I if he truly were? Come on, Ryunosuke, time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Satoru Hosonaga-san's real identity as proven by this evidence. Here we go. 
Here we go. Present that shit. Yes! The plan of the restaurant sketched by the man in question? Hmm. I agree, it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we conclude, can conclude anything. S sorry Your Excellency, that's the back of the card. It, 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 it's the, the back of the... back of the card that's of interest. I... beg your pardon? Or, or perhaps I should have said, um, the front? Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the telling detail is. Ugh. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? <laughs> Hosonaga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession, but that's surely... Good... good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads... Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division, Imperial Police Bureau. <laughs> what? The, 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 the waiter is a p p police detective? I, I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this before? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power. Absolute power as far as regular civilians are concerned. So... Witnesses there in the stand. <laughs> Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? <clears throat> well... <sighs> I I in Inspector Hosonaga. Oh shit! I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will take this plan and add it to the court record as evidence. Oh, um, well. Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. Okay, okay. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge at when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle. But I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. <laughs> it was an unusually careless mistake. So, so, so you, 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 mean, you mean to say you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working as a restaurant waiter? Ah! Of course the- I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes. There have been a series of incidents at the restaurant recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant? What kind of incidents? That would be classified police information, which I am not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that there are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Hosonaga, but you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. 
that at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. <laughs> if that is indeed true, clearly you would have also been aware of this person's presence having served at the table in question. How <laughs> However, your testimony did not allude to this, to this other diner. Therefore, I am led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <coughs> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable! As I suspected. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran into the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim, sans, the victim sat slumped on his chair, and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady, whom I guessed to be an English woman. So, the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the Bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say... Remove the Englishwoman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the Englishwoman's present at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this Englishwoman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with Britain more highly than anything at the moment. An Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect. <laughs> well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of question. Out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the Phantom Woman in this case. But it's not right! Gamble all, damn it! Not a real waiter! Give us points, Sam, so we can gamble all! I mean, save it for giveaways! When you're heading off, Samuel, uh, it's almost one, so... I was hoping to wrap this up before one o'clock. I like the waiter's hair. <laughs> Shocker, classified. Those damn Brits. Cosplay of your son when? <laughs> Maybe next Halloween. <laughs> Add points all, you goddamn gambling addicts. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm hoping to wrap this up in the next hour at the latest, because yeah, I really gotta, I gotta go home and take care of Zero. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain. And I'm fairly certain that one of them studying in the met uh and I'm fairly certain that one of them studying in the medical faculty's research laboratory is a young English woman. What? You're a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean... When I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The Englishwoman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle Brett. 
She is indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yume University's medical faculty. <laughs> what is happening here? Three points, yay! <laughs> I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene. And ordered these witnesses to make no mention of their, t uh, to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must now be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this situation. Hmm. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are my thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. <sighs> However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a discretion of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. <laughs> Your Excellency, that, that would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling order to send the telegraphic report to Great Britain. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Council. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my courtroom. <laughs> Inspector Hosonaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. At once, Your Excellency. <laughs> but that, 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 that means you'll be going against the special orders you were given from the police bureau. As I said before, it is my guiding principle to carry out all investigations flawlessly. So it won't be a problem? <coughs> <coughs> Nothing will get in my way. <coughs> gotta get that cough checked out though, fam. You got hella blood spilling out of your mouth, bro. <laughs> Court will adjourn briefly. The prosecution must call the English student Giselle Brett to the witness stand. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> yes. Your Excellency! Good. Then we will have a 30-minute recess before reconvening. Recess! To be continued. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. So since there's, a, I think, since this is a saving point, I think we'll, I think we'll leave it right, right here. I hate to leave it on a cliffhanger and I want to continue, but I really got to head home and take care of my doggy. My son. Ooh, this is good though. This is good. This is getting, this is getting nice and spicy. I dig it. I dig it. That's a penis. <laughs> That's a penis. It's getting intense. I love this Ace Attorney game, Mr. Sam K. Lude. <laughs> Me too, dude. Me too. I'm definitely way more invested in this first case than I was in the first case of the, uh, the first of the Ace Attorney trilogy games. Not that that didn't have, you know, good moments as well. But, uh, yeah, dude, I'm definitely, definitely more intrigued here. Is the game pretty long? Um, I heard it's about in total... Like what, 40, 40 plus hours? But yeah, it, it all depends on, you know, like the streamer since, uh... You know, I, I do take like little breaks here and there.
Case getting spicy, spicy. Wait, you're not streaming at home? Uh, Grim. Y y yes and no. Um, my dog stays at my parents' apartment, so I see him, um, I see him after work during the week, and on the weekends, I go take care of him in the afternoon while my parents are at work. So, um, I may stream again later in the evening, but, uh, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure yet. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to rush this by any means, so I think right here, since it's like 10 minutes to 1pm, I think this is a good, uh, a good place to, uh, just pause, and then we'll pick it up right after, since I just saved here. So yeah, I am streaming from my brother and my sister's house, but yeah, my dog stays at my parents' apartment, since they have two dogs here. Thanks so much, Sam. Yeah, no, guys, I, I know this is, like, not typically what I stream, but fuck, man, I, I hope you guys are, uh, getting some enjoyment out of this. This has been, uh, this has been really cool. I actually really like this. Yeah, we just saved there, so we'll... Yeah, it's okay. Ooh, this is getting good, though. I like it. Solid, solid first impression. For sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, 